The most popular question on your own website is related to this mm -hmm. uh, on change.gov. It comes from Bob Furtick mm -hmm. of New York City, and he asks, will you appoint a special prosecutor, ideally Patrick Fitzgerald, to independently investigate the gravest crimes of the Bush administration, including torture and warrantless wiretapping? Um, we're still evaluating how we are going to uh, approach the whole issue of uh, interrogations, detentions, uh, and so forth. Uh, and obviously we're going to be looking at past practices. Uh, and uh, I don't believe that anybody is above the law. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I also have a belief that we need to look forward as, low, as opposed to look, looking backwards. Uh, and part of my job is to make sure that, uh, for example, at the CIA, uh, you've got extraordinarily talented people who are working very hard to keep Americans safe uh, I don't want them to suddenly feel like they've got to spend all their time uh, wor looking over their shoulders and, and lawyering. So no 9-11 commission with independent subpoena you, you, power? You know, we have not made final decisions, but my instinct is for us to focus on how do we make sure that moving forward uh, we are doing the right thing. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, if somebody has blatantly broken the law that they are above the law. But my orientation is going to be to move forward. So, so let me just press that one more time. You're not mm -hmm. ruling out prosecution, but will you tell your Justice Department to investigate these cases and follow the evidence wherever it leads? What I, uh, I think my general view when it comes to my attorney general is he's the people's lawyer. Uh, Eric Holder's been nominated. His job is to uphold the Constitution and look after the interests of the American people, not to be swayed by my day-to-day -day politics. Uh, so ultimately, he's going to be making some calls. But my general belief is that when it comes to national security, what we have to focus on is getting things right uh, in the future as opposed to uh, looking at what we got wrong in the past. You know, you mentioned Eric Holder.